Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm here with another grind and talk because let me tell you, I wanted to make a... So first of all, I'm making this video because uh, Dragalia had... First of all, I thank you for all everyone who left feedback on my last grind and talk um, saying basically this is the kind... Like none of your other stuff kind of gets it for me, but this does for me. That means a lot to me and it also helps me know that there are things that people want from me that are, you know, different. And I get it, because I also like me having fun as opposed to me um, trying to be serious. No, I'm trying. I, whatever, I like my trivial video. Point is, is that I can have both. <laughs> Why not both? Um, so today's video is going to be another grind to talk, because let me tell you, there is nothing else to do in Dokkan but grind right now. I don't, <laughs> I don't get it. Why Dokkan all of a sudden, like, I don't, let me check the missions real quick. I don't think there's any missions to do. No, there's nothing. There's nothing to do right now but log in. So something I've been putting off a whole bunch is doing the Heroes Arena. And um, obviously I'm not going to spend this entire video um, crapping on it. Because, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Um, but I will be grinding it because let me tell you, this grind is just monotonous. So I figure, why not, hey, sit down with me and we'll both do it. Because I want to get my Piccolo nice and strong. So, all right, let's go into it. Man, so, oh, hello, Vegeta. Let's talk about how in six days we're going to have, well, let me see what I get here. Okay, so there's no reason for me to go for the other silvers. I don't know, man. Like, I don't know why I started immediately with an I don't know, man, but <laughs> hear me out. Um, I don't know how to feel about the anniversary right now, the fifth year. Um, it's not like that I'm not hyped. Because I like fusions good enough. It just feels like, you know... I don't know. We already have so many LR Gogetas. Well, to be fair, I think we only have one LR Gogeta. But we have so many LR Vegitos that it kind of doesn't make any sense to me to make another one. Um, I mean, we already have an LR Vegito Blue. Which was given to us thanks to Global. Thank you, Global, for voting for Vegito Blue. And he's lasted us so long that it kind of feels weird, like... Now, obviously, the, the new dude that they're going to bring in, there's no way in hell that he's just straight up Vegito Blue. Um, oh, excuse me. So, obviously, I'll be interested to see how that goes. Chances are it's going to be, like, um, double team... Well, that's worse. Double team of uh, Goku and Vegeta on it, obviously, and stuff like that. But I don't know. I just don't know, man. Um... I would have, I don't, but I also don't know what I would have actually wanted as opposed to them. Like, the dudes I would want, like Kid Goku and Demon King Piccolo, they would never do. And also, they already did Kid Goku, so there's no reason for them to make another. Actually, I take that back, because an LR Kid Goku would be freaking amazing. Uh, I was about to drop the F bomb, but I chose not to. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how to. I guess I'll wait for the mana to be here and then I'll get excited, because that's how I really feel. Because I'm not one of those dudes like. Uh, shout out to Sahal, who currently is doing videos. I don't think he said this, uh, to be fair, but he says this about a lot of banners, where he says, Oh man, insta-skip. Skipping this, not interested. But then we'll go around and immediately do a multi-summon. <laughs> like, he'll actually summon on it, and it doesn't make any sense. I'm not really one of those people. I'm definitely one of those dudes who are like, I buy into hype. So the second like people are out there summoning, I'm going to be like, I want to do my summons. And I want to do a, uh, a summon video, just like all my other buddies who are out there doing it. Obviously, um, I'm mostly free to play on Dogon, so I can never do the big ass videos that they do, so I'm never going to do videos like that. Just Unless someone wants to fund my Dogon summons, I'm not doing videos like that. So, uh, yes, I do have to uh, buff this man to be even stronger. Oh, buff. He's got it. And then let me see here. How many of these do you need? So we'll run two more. Um, chances are two more. Uh, go right here. But yeah, I don't know how to feel about it. It definitely feels like... Hello, Vegeta, once again. It definitely feels like Dokkan has run out of ideas. And to be fair, I think Dokkan has run out of ideas for a while. But they've also run out of ideas of like... Because here's the thing that's going to happen that is obviously going to happen that um, we're going to get a Super Vegito, not Vegito, Vegito, who is Super Saiyan, 
chances are at some point, I'm not saying for the anniversary, at some point, and we will have three conflicting Super Vegitos that you cannot run at the same time. Now, I'm not talking about like a, um, a, uh, what's the word for it? A transforming unit, one that starts as uh, Super Vegito and then transforms, I guess, into Super Saiyan Blue. I don't think that ever happens in the anime, so they can't do it. Um, but I don't know. Like, I guess some people are saying, like, oh, what if they did a Vegito Blue that starts as Vegito Blue and then you transition and you do the, what is that called? The carryover? They carry over into another unit, and it's Super Trunks, or whatever the hell his super crazy sword move is, and then he, you have him for one turn, and then he goes back to Vegito Blue, which is not what, at all what happens in the anime, but you get what I'm saying. Like, that's what happens. Um, and that sounds cool, but I also don't think that's happening. It doesn't seem likely. Uh, it sounds awesome as all hell, don't let me... And if it does happen, then I'll gladly eat my words and be like, oh, hell yeah, that's great. Like, I don't know, like, but, but imagine if the fifth years were that, where it was like, um, it was a good, uh, it was a, a, oh man, what's the word? It was a Gogeta that starts as, um, Vegeta and Goku, and then they have to have time to fuse, so then you turn into Pecan for a couple turns, and then after, um, like a turn or two, you turn into Gogeta. And then obviously people would be angry because they're like, oh, why do I have to play this character I don't like for blah, blah, blah. I think it'd be fun as hell, though. Because that'd be such a wacky way of, like, actually getting the character onto the field that I'd kind of respect it in so many different ways. And that's what I mean about, like, it's not that I don't like the fact that it's the same units over and over again. It's that I want them to be different in some way. It's kind of like, if you can't figure out an inventive way of bringing something back, then don't bring it back, is my main thing. And if it's been, like, a long time, like, with Cooler... Like, a good example is Physical Cooler to SCR Cooler. I think that's a good, like, obviously we don't have a transforming unit. He'd be fantastic. He starts at his, um, his other form, and then he goes into something else. Uh, and that's kind of cool. But, yeah. The main problem is that Dokkan will forever be a game where you can't use characters that share the same name. And as long as Dokkan is that, then... There's really no improving what Dokkan does. And to be fair, that's core to what Dokkan is. So I don't know. <sighs> all right. That's kind of all I want to talk about in terms of Dokkan, I think, for the moment now. I'll be interested to see what's going to happen. I'm not going to be super, like, crazy pessimistic about it. I mean, no more than I already am. If I don't like something, then I'll gladly say whatever. Um, and I won't get shit on it, because I, I'm not like Sahal who says crazy shit. Uh, Shoutouts again to Sahal. Check out his YouTube. Um, if you do check out his YouTube channel, I sent you. I want him to know that I'm the one who sent him all the people. Um, so here's another thing that happened to me today specifically that I want to talk about because I think it's crazy. Um, so yesterday before work, uh, there was a bag in where, um, the, my family stays at in the room that we, uh, have in the house. There was a bag. I go to get it, and I go like, oh, it, it was clearly a food bag with food in it. And I go, oh, I want this. And I go for it to go check. I was like, oh, what's inside? And then my brother stops me and goes, don't open it. It's um, your, our sister and our sister, Yaoi Mom. Um, so I go, okay, cool. Um, and I don't touch it because it's her food. And I don't want to eat her food because I'm not a monster who would just eat someone's food if I knew it was their food. If I, uh, if I know, of course. Um, good. Basically, a day passes. I wake up this morning, because last night I went to work. I wake up, the bag is gone, and I ask uh, my sister, oh, what was in it, and what did you eat? And he's like, oh, it was a chocolate croissant, and I gave it to uh, Nux. And then I look, and I go, what do you mean you gave it to Nux? She's like, yeah, it was for anyone. Um, and then I started what was basically a very friendly but also a, an argument with my brother over the fact that he totally uh betrayed me because if he the second my sister told him uh because here's the basic thing is that he asked oh what's in it and then she says chocolate croissant and then uh he says chocolate croissant uh i was checking to see if there was someone in the room which gave me a creepy feeling and that's it for Piccolo. Um, um, he asked about the chocolate croissant. She says, oh, it's just a chocolate croissant. Do you want it? Uh, and then he goes, yes. He doesn't stop to go, wait. 
Loki wants this. I should save it. What he says is, oh yeah, that's good. And he eats my fucking chocolate croissant. Now, at this point you're saying, it's not your chocolate croissant. Anyone with logic would stop what they're doing. It's what I would do. If I knew they wanted it, is that I would, if in, if the roles were reversed, I would go, oh, and then I would give it to Nux because I know he wanted it. Because you know what? That's what a good brother does. That's not what he did. He ate it. And now he's taking solace in the fact that he ate it and he's making jokes about it. And I feel betrayed about it. And I think it's real messed up. And I think Nux should, one, apologize. Obviously, he's not apologized, by the way. He just laughs at me. That's it. And two, he should get me a chocolate croissant. I think that's simple. That's right. That's fair, right? Tell me if that's fair. If you were in the same situation as me, am I crazy? Was the was possession nine fifths of the rule? Was that technically not mine? Am I just going about this all crazy like? Because I feel betrayed at the moment, and not in a serious way of like I'm not gonna talk to my brother anymore. I feel like I should get some comeuppance for the fact that I got done dirty. There's no two ways about it. And now Piccolo is done. And this video is done. Thank you everyone for enjoying it. It's a shorter video. Obviously, if there was a longer grind, I would save it for the weekend. So look forward to that if that ever shows up. Uh, there's definitely longer videos I can do. But for right now, I have to get ready on my other Dragalia stuff because I got a lot of stuff to do anyway. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like. And if for some reason you're not subscribed to me and you watch these, please subscribe. All right. See you later.